Hi guys, in this video we're continuing with our understanding of probability and this one's going to be very short. I'm going to present three useful probability rules which are similar to rules that we learn in algebra. So first off, the cumulative law. The cumulative law. You may recall this when you first learned um, algebra. The cumulative law says that the union of E or F is equal to the union of F and E. Okay, in other words, the order you write these unions does not make a difference. Likewise, the intersection of E and F is equal to the intersection of F and E. Okay, so that's the cumulative law. Law. <laughs> Next, the associative law says that the union of E or F, union E, is equal to the union of E with F union G. In other words, you can move these parentheses around and do these unions, if you have, a th if you have three events, you can do them in any order Okay, and then in order to bring it all together, all right, and the same goes with intersections. Okay, and this is the associative. So clearly you see here that I've moved the parentheses around. Let me make this clear that this is um, a separate item here. So, and this is a separate item here. Okay. So E and F and G is equal to E and F and G. Right? If I'm, or I could say intersect or and. Okay? So I can move the order I do these around. Okay, and you could already see that if I combine the cumulative law, cumulative law, and the associative law, I can arrive at some interesting understandings here. Um, okay, and finally, in this tutorial, let me end with the distributive law. So the distributive law is a little less intuitive, but can be shown. It with Venn diagrams uh, to prove it to yourself. So I'm just going to give it to you here. This may or may not be useful to you, but uh, the intersection of E union F and G can be kind of rewritten or distributed as E intersect G union F intersect G okay and another scenario the union of E intersect F with G can be rewritten as the intersection between E union G and F union G. That's the, dis these two are examples of the distributive or illustrations of the distributive law of probabilities of events. Okay, and I would encourage you to uh, prove some of these to yourself, especially um, the distributive law, um, these two guys, okay, um, with some Venn diagrams. So make some events, E, F, and G, and then um, think about what these mean and show that, uh, prove to yourself that these uh, are identities hold. Uh, it's a useful exercise. Um, and uh, I guarantee it'll work out.
okay? And maybe as an extra here, I'm gonna also throw in some notation that I rarely use, but it's, uh, it's not a bad idea to kind of be aware of this. This um, would not qualify as one of these rules, but sometimes we have an event, which is a subset of another event, and we can say E, and we use this notation to say E, is a subset of F. In other words, all the outcomes of E are also are contained in the event F. Okay? Or we could say we could say the same thing as F is a superset of E. It's just saying the same thing, just a different way to say it. Okay? All the outcomes of E are also outcomes in F are contained in F. So if we were to visualize this, if this was F, E is completely inside of F, okay, for both of these, okay. And we can also have the case where E is a subset of F and F is a subset of E, in which case this implies that E equals F. So this is saying all the outcomes of E are contained in F. All the outcomes of, let me say and, all the outcomes of F are contained in E, sorry. So basically we're saying that E and F are the same event, right? So here's E and uh, I'm trying to trace it exactly. So they're clones of each other. E and F are equal. Okay? And this is somewhat uh, nice to know. Sometimes um, an event can be a subset of another event and so um, it's it might be useful to kind of think of it like that. All the outcomes of an event can be contained in another event. All right. So we say though that event is a subset of the other event. So the uh, three rules I gave you before and some of this notation, uh, extra notation I presented at the end uh, will be uh, useful to you, especially as you advance in probability and get to more interesting questions beyond rolling a die and flipping a coin. Okay. So Thanks for watching again. Continue to watch the series. Uh, share and comment. Till next time, have a great day.